Alright guys, in our next formation, we're going to be breaking down the Gun Normal Wing Offset uh, New York, or excuse me, Gun Normal Wing, let me just back out and learn this name, I don't know what it's called, it's, it's, the Devil's Flex Wing is what it's called, but it's actually, in, in NCAA it's called Normal Wing Offset, and um, the audible from this is a read option, and it's actually our audible, but I'm going to be coming out even at the same time. So, anyways, what we're going to be doing from this is, this is one of the better running formations in the game. So all you're going to do, and, and if you want to read, you can run read option. I use read option as a mixing. But uh, the HP die from this play is actually from last year in Madden 13. It was one of the most effective runs in the game. And as you see, it's just very difficult to stop that play for five yards. Uh, it's like a five, it's like a three to five yard guarantee almost. Uh, there's a, a lot of difficulty stopping this run. We went over it, some in our gun doubles. You know, basically... You know, you can run this as a dive, you can run this as a, a, a sweep, you can run this as a counter, uh, you could even run it as uh, your third and inches run. As you see, there's the counter aspect, and then uh, we'll show you here real quick the sweep. But the beauty is, you could run this run 30 to 45 times a game, and, and it, you'd move the ball. And it's very difficult to stop, and what you're going to see your opponents do is in order, and this is what you want to do, so you want to kind of, you're going to establish this run for this formation. So you're going to probably run this, I'd say audible into this formation at least one to two times per drive, and run the ball. And what you're going to see is your opponent will start doing this. They'll start putting a lot of people in the box, and putting people in the middle of the field. Now, you can still run this against that, is the beauty of it, but, um, but if they, if, you know, if they have a better chance of stopping. So when you see something like this, this is when the read option comes into effect. We're just going to read to the end, and you see he's a lot of times he'll cut down, and then now there's nobody to stop take the running back or the quarterback as, as David Ash gets outside. So what we what you're seeing here is a scheme inside of just a running formation, and the way we use three headed rushing attack to really get outside. Like I said, there that's your run to the right. And then you can use the inside zone as your run left, middle, and you could even use it as a counter. So if, if they're sucking in too much, you can just get out to the count. And the beauty is with the Infinity Engine and the way the game works this year, the running game is going to be really important, and you're going to want to definitely use this run. Uh, it's one of the best runs in the game. Okay, so we know that this run is great. What can we do to complement that with passing from this one? Our quick pass audible here, whoops, I actually flipped the play. Our quick pass audible from this formation. Is, and this is actually one of the things that we added, or excuse me, not a quick pass, our play action pass. This is something we add, I added to this last year. With uh, the game had a slip screen, and they didn't have this this form or this this play. This is actually an FL screen to the right side of the field, and we're as you guys probably already thought of. You're gonna put him on a comeback, and you're gonna put your running back on a swing route. Now you're gonna motion. You see when we motion our running back, he goes out wide. Okay, so what you could do with this. Snap, throw it to him. You see, you get those two guys, those two receivers out there blocking. That's a, that's a little mix in you can do. And what you can do off of that is throw it to your tight end. So, like, you can put your tight end on, say, like a block and release. You're running back on a wheel, and then motion your running back to the left. Okay, that's a pretty simple hot route. Snap, throw, and if it's not cover two, you're going to have some blockers. Okay, so you could obviously do that. That's just something that you could mix in. That's one of the one of those mix in plays. What I like to do is I'll, and I'll do that once or twice. So I'll motion him out and do that. And then what I'll do is, okay, I'm going to motion him back in now. When you motion him back in and snap before he sets, he gets a speed burst to the outside, and then bam, you got two blockers up there. It's one of the tougher screens to defend in the game. So you want to be using that. And like I said, you know, you can uh, do hot routes on the backside to create levels or whatever. But I like to throw the screen the running back, and you could just snap if you want to be more. If you're playing like a sim league or something, you need to you just throw that. You could also you could also throw the screen. Uh, you could play action. So here we're gonna act like we're running the ball, and then you see the screen does get better blocking this year. I think the running back screens are still the way to go though. So that's one thing you could do. You could also even in a third option, you could put your um, oh I accidentally odd one out of this formation, but you could put your running back. Uh, on a blue route here, so I'm going to audible back to the screen, and I'm going to put uh, a running back on a block and release, okay? What this is going to create now 
is, wow, I didn't get the ball off, but it's going to create another option uh, to this screen that they're not going to see coming. And there's the wide receiver screen. But the, the key is, the way the blockers work, if you slide protection pitch, and you put that running back on a blue route, and you get, get out, get out, get out, throw it, you see it's almost like a middle screen now. It's attacking another depth of the field. So you want to mix in the screen. The screen's the main passing play from this, but we do have others. Our quick pass out of it. Uh, can't get to it. Oh, excuse me, our deep pass out of it. The play slants. We went over that in the last video. One of the things you can do very simply is just motion that running back out on a wheel route. Snap. Throw to him. If there is not if they're not in cover two, it's gonna be open. It, even in, ma in man coverage, it's gonna destroy. It. It, well, I'll show you this against man coverage. Uh, man, I keep flipping the play. I'm gonna run it to the right, but it's the same thing. So, here, here's the play. Motion, you're running back to the right. Snap right there, and you see his man is nowhere near him. Uh, and you, it's an easy 15 to 20 yard pickup every single time. So, the next read on this play, again, we can always do what we were doing last video and just leave the running back blocking and read the slants. So, if he doesn't impress, same concept. So it's working the same exact concept, it's just from another look. And the beauty of it is if we go back to, I'm just going to show you because we're almost done with this uh, formation anyway. Because there's, there's not a lot to this formation. But it's very effective, the little things. The little things in this formation are what make it so effective. The alignment. Okay, so let's talk about this stuff. So I'm coming out in my base play, and he's coming out. All right, I audible into my run. That's not my run. I gotta have that stupid. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand why they don't just leave the little things up there for you. So, anyway, audible into the, the running set. Minimal, minimal movement, an easy read, easy check down and bam, you're gone. It's a, just an easy thing to do. And what you could do with this is a tip from Zan last year is you could hit X and hit the down on the on the right stick at the same time and be in your inside zone run. Try it again. There we go. Got it. So inside zone run, quick snap. Bam, gone. And then second level. Just keep pounding the rock. And it's an easy transition. That's the key to this. So now, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about about this formation is universal hot routing. So universal hot routing from this formation, and let me just get out of this so I can, it saves time, but we can always create curl flats. Always create curl flats. The key to this offense, like I said, the run in the inside is the key, so we want to complement that with our passing. So this slot cross, um, I actually couldn't get it to work to go into the audibles. So you could interchange it for the read option or vice versa. But you see that slot cross route to a triangle? What you want to do with that is basically just create a, a, a basically a levels. And you see if they go with the slot cross, you just take the running back. If they go with the, 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 the running back, you take the slot cross. The situation where they may go with the slot cross, or, or the running back here is cover two. It actually didn't there. And so you just take the, the, the quick, easy stuff. And another thing you can do out of this as far as hot route, you could just put in route... Um, you can put your running back on an in route, and you're tied in on an out route. And you see the the, the reads they create are just uh, they're very good. They get under every zone in the game. You know they're just a very good read. And I'll show you that against man here. The slot cross against man is one of the best man beating routes in the game. Um, wait, no, it's not. What was I saying? No, it's the zone beating route. Why am I saying? So, against man, uh, what I was trying to say was the tight ends, the, the, the quick reads, like the out routes are, are one of the better man beaters in the game. That's what I meant to say. It came out wrong. Sorry about that. But like, um, so the running back and the, the running back and the tight end, their routes are going to beat man coverage. Just snap, throw to them, bam. You have two to three yards almost guaranteed every time. The beauty, again, is that it's such a quick uh, transition. Now, if you just want to do this from just your quick plays, what you could do with this is you could maybe put uh, your square receiver on a drag route, triangle on an in route, smart routed to create levels, and then you would, um, I like to create an inside cross to the tight end, and then maybe a curl flat to the right side. 
So basically, this is what you have. You could also put your tight end on a streak and create that concept with the man beater pass, leave that to the inside, and you see that's going to be beating man every single time. So a lot of things you can do. You just want to get crazy with your hot routes from this. This is a formation that is mainly just hot routes, but the hot routes you can do from this make it very effective, especially this year with the way the hot routes are going to work. The ability to basically do anything we want from our hot routes. So I get zone, your levels concept. If it gets pressed, throw to your drag. If you don't get pressed, throw to your triangle. I mean, it's just very simple stuff, but it, it's it's very effective, guys. Very very effective this formation. Uh, I wasn't I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this formation because, uh, like I said, the main stuff I want you to be focusing on from this is running the football. Uh, the passing from this is good, but it's not as good as the one as what we have from other formations. So you want to pass from this as a change up, but like I said, you want to be running the ball out of this. 20 times at least a game. And that's going to average out to about three to five times per drive. You're running the ball. You're checking down. And the beauty of that is if we wanted to go to like, so one thing we could do here is you could motion the receiver over, snap when he gets the A gap. So he gets on, on that seal there. You see that? You see that? See how that works? Okay. So what we could do with that, this is actually going to lead me into my next breakdown. We'll, we'll get more into this in a minute. But we're gonna uh, motion him over, okay, and then we're gonna let it. We're gonna keep him going. So he keeps going all the way over. They're in the run defense. We quickly audible into the play FL screen. Very small transition. Put the wide receiver on a comeback and run the screen, right in behind the the inside zone read run, and bam, we house it. So again. Very simple stuff from this offense, but this formation is really going to set the tone because of that run right there. That you're going to be running that run so much this year, and it's going to it's going to get you big plays after big plays after big plays, and it's it's a very effective run, and that's why it's one of the foundations of this offense. So once again, guys, thanks for checking out this ebook. I hope you're learning a little bit about the game in general. Uh, make sure to check out our hot reading tutorial. I'll be going over some of that um, as far as how to throw certain routes. I'm going to be going over every hot route you can throw and how to throw them. So I'll try to make sure that there's a, a table of contents for this ebook that you guys can easily navigate to that video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching this video uh, breakdown of the gun normal wing offset. Make sure to check out the next video, guys. We're going to be going over the wide trips. Thanks, guys. See you.